Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your seventh Angular 2 tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can create a new component. Alright, so thus far we have seen that when we generated a new project with the Angular CLI, we have these app.components created. They're our root components. And this root component has a select of app roots. So when the index.html gets fired up and it finds this app root tag, it knows to look for this component because that's the selector and then get this view, which is defined in that component and to serve that HTML in the place of that tag in the index.html right here. Okay, so that's our root component. Now what I want to do in this tutorial is add a new component and I've done a little diagram to demonstrate what I want to do. So this root component automatically generate for us is the app.component. It sits at the top of the tree. Then what I want to do now is create a component for some kind of home page. So we'll call that the home component and it's going to sit under that root component. And um, it makes sense to call this home.component. Now before we create it, um, I am going to be using this terminal down here in this tutorial, which is just a package for Angular. So if you go to file and then go to settings, which is here. And if you go to install, you can search for packages and the package is called, if we scroll down here, it's called platform.io IDE terminal. So if you search for that and download it, you can then use this. All you need to do is click the little plus icon right there to pop up this terminal. So typically what I'm going to be doing in this series is using this command prompt to serve up the files to create the server using ng serve and then using this terminal down here to do things like create new components or new directives using the Angular CLI as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and create this home component underneath the root component. So the first thing we need to do is navigate into this app folder since this is where all of our components are going to live. We're currently in the Angular 2 playlist folder so we need to go into the ninja directory then source then app so I'll say cd ninja hyphen directory doesn't know that and that's because I missed the Y and then we'll say CD and it's source forward slash app and now we're in the app folder so now we can use the angular CLI ng to create a new component and the way we do that is by saying generate and it's a component and then we can give this component a name and I'm gonna call this home all right so what that is going to do is generate a new component and create those files for us, the CSS file, the TypeScript file, and the HTML file for that component. And notice right here, it's put it in the home folder within the app folder. So this signifies that it's kind of one level deeper than the app.component file, okay? Because it's within another folder called home. So if we look at the diagram, this root component sits in forward slash app, then this home component sits in forward slash home underneath the root component. Make sense? All right, so now you can see we've got the uh, CSS file, the HTML file, and the TypeScript file, as well as this test file, which I'm going to delete because we're not going to be using that in this tutorial. So let's go ahead and open those up and see what it's done for us. Let's see in that. Okay, that's the view. And this is the class itself. And you'll notice this is a little bit different from the other class. First of all, it says implements on init. Okay, and this is just some kind of event. So when the view, when this component has been initialized, then this function fires. And whatever we have in here, whether it be some other functions that we want to fire or variable declarations, that happens when the component is initialized, when it's kind of loaded. And we're going to talk about this and other um, events in the component cycle later on. So it's automatically created this selector for us. So it's going to import this or rather insert this component where it finds this app home tag. Okay. Um, it's created this view for us and the CSS for us as well. And notice it's also imported this on init thing right here, this interface. Okay. That's because we're using it down here. So we'll talk about that a little bit later on. This constructor function as well, we're going to talk about later on as well. So that's our new component. Now, how do we get this into the other file, the other component, because it's nested within it? Because right now, if we go to the 
um, local host over there, nothing has actually updated. It's not showing this home works. So how do we show that? How do we get it on the home page? Well, what we need to do is insert this tag, this reference tag right here, much like the app component was on the index. But where do we put it? Well, we put it in this component right here because it's sitting underneath this. This is like the parent component here. And within that parent component, we want to display this home section, right? So let's grab this, copy it, and let's go and paste it right here, like that, okay? So we don't need to put anything in it, but we can put something like loading view on it. I'm just gonna keep it like that, and I'm gonna save it. And what would you expect now? Would you expect all of this content here to be dumped into this thing right here? Because that is the tag name, right? Well, let's find out. Let's go over to the browser, and you'll notice that nothing has happened. Okay, even if I refresh and it reloads the page, you'll notice nothing is going to happen. And that's because we've not injected this component into this component right here. It's not expecting to use it. So I'm gonna show you how we can do that in the next tutorial.